Hey guys, Sarah here coming to you from the learning garden at Fairchild. In a tree. Why am I in a tree? Well, because today we're going to be talking about pineapples. And pineapples are a kind of bromeliad. Now, lots of bromeliads are epiphytic, which means they grow on trees. Now, they're not hurting the tree. They're just kind of sitting there. And lots of South Florida's bromeliads are epiphytic, including Spanish moss, which you can see kind of hanging off of lots of trees down here in South Florida. Now, pineapples, they don't grow in trees, but a lot of their cousins do. Pineapples have an amazing trick. You can actually grow a pineapple from a pineapple that you've already eaten. How? Well, what you do is you take a pineapple and you cut it right at the crown, what we call this green top part. Make sure you give it a little bit of space down at the bottom and you peel off those extra brown leaves at the bottom. Leave the pineapple for a day or two to callus over or let this exposed part dry a little bit. Then what you can do is plant it either in soil or if you don't have soil, that's okay. You can try growing it over water using some toothpicks. Maybe if you've grown an avocado pit before, it's a similar process. Once you see those roots starting to grow down, then you can transfer it into a larger container or into an outdoor garden space if you have one. Now with pineapples, you need to be a little patient. It can take a long time for them to grow, but eventually you'll see your new pineapple growing out of the top, just like this, with a new crown. And once you harvest your fresh pineapple, you can take that crown and grow a new pineapple and a new pineapple. Some people call these gardens made from food scraps leftover gardens because it's a way that you can enjoy your food and grow new food. If you do try growing a leftover garden or maybe making your own amazing pineapple garden, please make sure you tag us at Fairchild Garden or hashtag MyFairchild. See you next time.